to believe in yourself for something.
official name, but I am pretty desperate, so that's what I'm calling it. Also, bring the pick. No sense in letting good or go to waste. If you find any while you're out there, bring it back here for some extra coin. The mountain is full of adventurers who got lost and kicked the bucket while carrying all sorts of magic loot. All you have to do is get the good stuff and bring it back here. Then I can pretend I made it and Master Tunhammer will be impressed and probably give me a promotion. That means more responsibilities, which I can pass on to you for marginally more pay. Maybe. Mountain, check. Now, you mentioned treasure. Where's that exactly? We are looking for a ring that belonged to some loser named Kajaro, who died somewhere in the Blazy River. Hop to it! Kajaro's yeah. ring of fire dancing let him walk on lava unharmed, but he was notoriously clumsy and fell face first into the river and burned to a crisp. All that remains is that ring. Heh, <laughs> silly humans. When will they learn that one wheel beats two legs any day? That's twice as many things that can go wrong. No wonder you're always tripping all over the place.
Banshee. Ha-ha! Well done! Now grab that magic bling! It's not like he needs it anymore. Great! Now, for the next item, I want to get something cool. Literally! Somewhere in the Frosty Hollow, there's the Cloak of Runald. Hurry, Apprentice! Your master commands you! Runald was a mighty barbarian who hoped to slay the Frost Goblins, thinking his Cloak of Cold Resistance would protect him. Well, Runald was frozen solid, but the enchantment kept his cloak in perfect condition. We could just use the crafting rules to make our own gear. Girl, that sounds boring as hell! We don't have time for all that crap! Yeah, fighting people and taking their stuff is way faster and more exciting! But it's a crafting quest. My sweet baby Fritz, I pinky promised that next set show, we can narrate all the boring stuff you love and roll dice all you want, but for now, we're doing things my way with guns and loot and adventure and actually interesting stuff. Fine. Ooh, luck going up. show you the way. Finally, that cooldown took ages. Ah, but it's stuck! 
been losing to the best. these awesome magic items for ourselves? That doesn't sound very heroic at all. Yeah. What are you talking about? We looted them fair and square. We just risked our lives out there. Hey, that rhymed. Yeah, but we agreed to a quest. A quest built on a foundation of lies? If you don't finish the quest, you don't get XP. Oh, but I'm so close to my super cool class feature. Then you know what you must do, Valentino. Uh. Who knew being a hero was fraught with so much moral ambiguity? Subcontracting your apprenticeship behind my back, have you? The Smithing Guild will have my head. Or one of our heads, anyway. Uh, Master Thunhammer, it's not what it looks like. Uh, they were just helping me with little things. Uh, you know, I can't reach the tools on the top shelf. I did all the hard work. Right. Then let's see your hard work, shall we? With pleasure. A great... Yay, you there! Place my works on young mannequin so Master Tunhammer can marvel at my craft! <laughs> you see, Master, I told you I could handle it. Take a look at these beauties! Oh, fine work, Apprentice. This is the work of a master. This master! In fact, I made these pieces myself! I'm gonna hammer you and your thieving friend into bloody bed pants! It's not 
like I'll be using it. Mining's for chumps. Now, take your payment and get thee gone. You kind of have a history of killing Master Smiths, which disqualifies you from my apprenticeship program. Some other desperate adventurer will be by to replace you soon enough, I'm sure. Next, we have to seize the means of production, then destroy them. That'll show Mark and I we mean business. Come, come, this way! Here we are. Now, the means of production are also the engines of oppression. So go bust them up! I'm gonna go secure our route by dropping the bridge. We'll meet up there! This to fight this Vorkinar thing at the end of this, aren't we? Yeah, probably. You afraid of fighting a dragon, Valentine? What? No. It's just a stupid game, anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stupid game? I'm gonna need you to go ahead and take that back, Valley. Right now. Okay, okay, take it back, all right? <laughs> it's the best game ever, of all time. Uh, now you gotta take it down a notch. It's a very enjoyable game, and I'm having fun. Hey, there you go. Yep.
I've almost got the bridge down. <laughs> I can't believe you really did it! That ought to stick a potato and bark in ours tailpipe! Hey, so you know real dragons don't have tailpipes, right? <laughs> Unless they're exhausted, huh? Nah? They don't? Huh. Well, further proof that Valkanar is a false god, huh? Just a little bit more tweaking. And there! Now we have to split up again. I need you to track down some demolition goblins that work for Valkanar. Steal the plastics they use to open up new mining tunnels. We'll need them for the fight against Varkanar. While you do that, I'm gonna track down the lair of Ice King Frisocles, who dwells under the mountain. We'll need the power of his icy heart to quench the fires of the Great Oven. The Great Oven is where the trolls smelt the old mind by the enslaved goblins. If you can take it out, we'll disrupt their primary source of revenue and weaponry.
not turn me that no swing, nothing well. That'll show that jug gut went to the real revolutionary end. Sorry, who now? Ah, oh, he's the worst. He's this super pretentious guy who's always going off about politics, but never lifts a finger about any of it. Also, he wears scarves. Like, even inside. <clears throat> I think I'm on the trail of Freezer, please! Just keep collecting those bombs! Damn those traitors! But we'll take those bombs they've got and use them to free the goblins once and for all!
Bombs. I'm thinking bombs. Some more goblins to our cause. I need you to shut down the great oven with the heart of Greece, please. I'll find you when the time comes. Uh, greetings, great oven. Forgive me, but uh, I must quench your flames. What's with the bell? and we will prepare for the coming of Orgonar. I'll meet you along the way. Be on your guard for the oracles. I'm nearly there.
You're so luckier, Mamacita. Just cause I just I can't do that ever again. I'm sorry, but you'll have to fight Varkinar on your own, champion. The tribute arena is just up ahead. Follow me. Time to kill whatever a Varkinar happens to be. I'm gonna kill you so bad. <laughs> you think you can kill a god?
Good kid. Real good. I think you've earned your nose ring and then some. Here. What? Really? This would be a truly mighty nose ring, but none of this would have been possible without you. I think you deserve this more than me. I must thank you, champion. We will forever be in your debt. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must inform the GTFO leadership of our victory. There is much to do. Ancient obelisk juts from the ground nearby. Touch it not, my sweet, lest ye summon a terrifying creature of dread power. This obelisk will summon a nasty little pig o goblin.
Butch shall terrorize the countryside. 